Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm your host James, this is my channel Famous James. This is a different kind of video today as uh, basically most of my stuff is about, is about um, cars, motorbikes, DIY and skiing. I thought I'd um, basically talk to you about yoga. About two years ago I was eight weeks into a 13 week filming on, on, a, on a kids TV show. Um, they had these massive um, tractor tyres, really big ones, and um, with wood attached them on top so people. And um, all some of the crews were lifting them up because they were a bit bored. It was nice. They were a bit bored, waiting around. Um, so then they said, "Oh, can you do that?" So I said, "Of course I can do that." So I tried to lift it, couldn't do it. Tried to lift it again. I got it about that far off the ground, and some twins in my back. And the rest of the day, my back got worse and worse and worse. Um, and I thought, how can I? I've got another what? What? Um, five weeks of this filming. I can't quit the job. I can't go off ill. So, I, so I googled how to speed up a back recovery. And the first thing that came came into it is yoga. So I looked at various um, different websites to see which best ways to do yoga to speed up the recovery of, 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 a, of, a, of a dodgy back, a strained back. I'm going to show you a few ways in which it helped me stay employed and help me recover my back. Um, obviously I have to, I have um, massages every so often just to help, like a deep tissue one just to help release all the stress and everything because being in the industry in, in sound a lot of stress is on gets on your on your back with the with the boom pole. Um, so I'm just going to show you how what I do to um, effectively uh, speed up <coughs> recover my back. Now, the first um, position that I found was very good is is um, how like um, some people pray by crouching on the floor um, with the with the legs wide. All the legs wide, so you're like in some ways you're like hovering in thin air on your bummers, and then you basically stretch like that, and just keep doing and just keep doing that basically. So basically, effectively, you are going like you are basically going like that. I don't know if you can see, but you're effectively going like that as deep as you can. And that stretches that part there, in fact, that part there. The second position I found was um, basically, if you lay, if you lay on your front, like so, I'll do, I'll do it this way first, and then you, so basically your um, crotch is basically on the floor, with, along with your knees and everything, and you put in your push up, like think of it like a, like a seal. Um, how it how it walks, do that, and it kind of like it stretches your abdominals and your back a little bit. So effectively, you are going like this, basically. So it hurts in your abdominals there, and it hurts a little bit there, but it's basically flexing. Um, I also found that if you do like a bridge <coughs> like that, so effectively you're doing you're going like that as well. That also helps to to um because as as I'm doing that, this bit here is really hurting. So it's basically like working the muscles and the um and your flexibility whilst doing this at the same time. That I don't know if you if you're able to see, but um, basically if you stand up sort of like that and you kind of like well, so you stand against something and you kind of twist like that. So the twist. It's it's um, kind of you twisting the muscles again in your back, but you don't twist. You stay like that. You can feel it in this, this side here, not so much here. And you might do it vice versa, that way. And it, it pulls the muscles in those, so it kind of helps it. it kind of helps you to um, rejuvenate and. Your muscles working and recovering 
faster because you're trying to promote them the oils and all the flexibility um, I also found and I watched this from um, Dr Oz basically on if you lay down on your back uh, like so don't be able to see but if you lay down on your back like so and then these knees you push like so you effectively you're uh, leaning back you're going leaning back and then you go like that apparently if you do this like 30 seconds this way and 30 seconds that way with your head back like that um, you're effectively resetting your spine so like your spine is kind of like think of your spine as like it's <coughs> like um obviously you've got the bones and you've got a gap in between them and think of it as like a donut in the middle and every time you do anything you're squeezing that donut and it gets hurts after a while you're squeezing all the juice out of your spine whereas if you do this you're kind of resetting the spine a little bit and 30 seconds aside every other day really really helps to um with the, with, with the um, flexibility I also found for me that I was doing that a lot and trying to touch my toes and stay in there like, so you go like kind of like that so you start off, you start off wide and then you go further in and further in so you start off like that as it gets easier you move in and then in so eventually you'll be able to do that and touch your toe like that and all these different movements all these different movements effectively have helped me to rather than going to the doctor and going to physiotherapy um, I watched these videos, learned how to do them and every single day on set and even when I go to the gym I do stuff and then at the last bit of the gym I'll do these stretches um, and they effectively help me recover and and, um, and promote the recovery of my back and any muscles that are affected by my back because if you think if you have a bad back if you go to get a massage, they actually, um, if, if you've got a bo lower back, they actually massage your leg because your leg, the bottom, your, le your top of your legs and your, your legs in general um, help and support your back as well. But you should also go to the gym and do just do light exercises, the poly ones where you kind of go like that, or anything that could <coughs> put a bit of stress onto your back, or a bit of pressure on your back, so your body, your back, and your body. It shocks, it shocks your shocks your body and it makes your muscles that are there that haven't been working them before start working again. Because at the end of the day, there's, you've got a lot of muscles in your in your body. And ones you don't normally use, you don't think you use. You should promote them to use. You'll feel a lot better and stronger. And you know, if you feel better and stronger, happy days, you can do more. And things get easier as and as as and when because your muscles are reacting to your diff, to different movements and different kind of routines. Um, but uh, I hope, uh, this is just what I did, I hope that this helped you. <coughs> I'm not saying that I'm not anywhere near a professional, it's just what I have learned and what helped what worked for me. If it worked for you, and if I've done, if I've done, said things wrong, let me know in the comments down below. I, um, basically, uh, it worked for me, so it's just the way it has for me, it's worked for me, it helped my back. Um, if there's other, if if, um, if you if you know how to do yoga and you can think of other ways to help them out the back, let me know. Um, other ways that I could that I could do things to help them back even better. Other 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 um, uh, positions I can do that are not too strenuous and but help the, the also flexibility help your flexibility because it's helped my flexibility a bit as well. Um, I hope you like this video. Um, I hope it was helpful to anybody who's watching. I, I know I'm not a professional as I said. But it helped me. Um, if you haven't already, like, click the like button, subscribe to me if you could, that would be very much helpful. Um, look at my other videos, I have skiing videos, motorbike videos, as in going on motorbike rides, car videos, DIY videos, many different styles of videos. I've got how to ones. If anything, what you want to watch, let me know. Follow, follow me. Um, yeah, thanks a lot, and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.